So some of the fans have been saying that there's been not enough Cameron lately. Can you say that that will be changing pretty soon? Um, well, I think that that um, uh, I'm I'm there. You know, I'm I'm in there. I <laughs> I'm hanging out. Yeah, I think that there's going. I have a good episode coming up where I get to do something really cool, and I have some I have some really good scenes with Riley, and I've been waiting for that. You know, because I feel that Cameron Cameron has been. Um, building up and waiting for her moment with with Riley for for a while so um, I, I was really excited to do that work and we had a really good time me and me and Levin. The, the scenes with you and Riley are fascinating because you wonder you know is there any emotion behind Cameron is there real jealousy or is it just her programming what do you think about that? Well I play I play a bit of jealousy because uh, frankly as an actress I couldn't resist <laughs> I I wanted the, the thing, the thing that happened with Cameron in the in the, the beginning of the second season, was that she was she was damaged, and her her programming has been failing her here and there, and I think that it's threatened her position with John. Her her entire purpose in 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 uh, to exist is to protect John, and if something is keeping her from doing that to the best of her abilities, I think that she feels threatened. It threatens her. It threatens her position. And I think when, when, when Riley came into the picture, that also threatened her, her job. Because it's her job to be by John always, and to be with John always. And um, so I, I, I sort of wanted to play that as a bit of jealousy because um, I think that we're really trying to blur the line a little bit about what it means to be a robot and um, what it feels to be a robot gotten some hints that uh, John and Cameron's relationship in the future, older John, has gotten a little strange that he's kind of isolated himself away with just Cameron. Have you asked Josh any questions about that or have you thought about it yourself when you're playing her? We always ask Josh questions about it. <laughs> but he's, he doesn't like to give too much away. He, he really he loves the suspense and, and the surprise. But um, but yes, I think that I, I think that, that was uh, an underlying um, question then that all of us were asking ourselves when we're playing the scenes in, in the present day wondering wondering how much Cameron knows about the future and I think that yeah she, she, she did hint hint to John about their future together and how close they were and um, and I think that's really really fascinating really cool You've gotten to do some really cool action on the show, flipping a car, for instance. Uh, coming up, do you get to do any uh, big stunts? Yes, we have some. We have some really big stunts in in the end. Um, we really went for it. You know, at the at the end of the second season, we we they 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 did me in. I mean, I really was. <laughs> I I don't. I can't even. I, I can't even tell you how many out, outfits we destroyed. I I mean, it was a big big finale. Very memorable moment was when you stapled your own face shut. Uh, that's a pretty tough character. I, I read that first. I, I I read that first episode over and over and over again. Josh wrote that. I am so proud of that episode. I thought it was, I thought it was brutal, but it was also really moving. I, I remember there was this uh, there was this one passage towards the end. You know when he's thinking about burning Cameron's body, and and the the passage the the passage says. Uh, she sits up from her Cadillac coffin, you know, because it was an old Cadillac, and I felt like I was, I felt like I was Dracula sitting up, and yet I was a princess. Like he, he reaches out his hand, and and she, it's like she's stepping out of a carriage, and and I, I just thought, we managed to turn a, st a, a, a robot action story into, into some kind of romance too, and and some something of a fairy tale, you know, and. Um, I just, I'm really proud of, of Josh's vision.